so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Three, two, one, go! <laughs> hey! It's me, Flippy! And today, we're here at the Yas Marina Circuit in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. <laughs> and I'm so excited because you and I are here at the Kart Zone! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> the Kart Zone is where you can drive go-karts. <laughs> yeah, they're really fun to drive and really, really fun to race. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Check it out! You see what's behind me? <laughs> yeah! Behind me is the track! Yeah, that's where the go-karts go. <laughs> Whoa! And it looks like there are some nice beanbags here to watch the race. <laughs> Ooh, a black one. <sighs> a blue one. <sighs> Whoa! And a red one. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. This is definitely a fun place to watch the go-karts go really fast. <laughs> but I think I want to go on the track to take a closer look. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa, <laughs> check it out. We're standing on the track. Yeah, we are so close to the go-karts. Oh, they are so cool. Yeah, they're kind of like really fast race cars, like F1 cars, but they're a little smaller. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, Drivers who drive professional race cars? Yeah, they started by driving go-karts when they were little. <laughs> Whoa, they are so cool. <laughs> I think you and I should take a closer look. Ooh, maybe we could find one in the garage and see how they work. <laughs> okay, I'll see you there. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're here in the garage. <laughs> yeah, this is where the mechanics work on the go-karts. If a go-kart breaks, <laughs> just take it to the garage. Yeah, and they can fix it all up. <laughs> Oh, and check it out. It looks like there's someone at the mechanics bench. <laughs> Let's go say hi. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi, Filippi. How are you? <laughs> oh, it's nice to meet you. What's your name? My name is Jose. Oh, Jose, it's so nice to see you. <laughs> Whoa, and is this the mechanics bench with tools you fix the go-kart with? Exactly. Here we have everything to fix all the cars. Ooh, you wanna, you wanna have a look? Yeah, there's so many tools. Whoa, look, like a hammer? Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Look at this. It's an Allen key. Whoa, an Allen key. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> oh, and I know what this is. It's a wrench. <laughs> oh, yeah. This will help you tighten up all the bolts. So if something is loose, just use a wrench. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm. What about these? That's pliers. Oh, check it out. Pliers. But why would you need pliers? That's to grab the small cables around the go-kart, oh. cut the uh, wires. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is really helpful here. Whoa, and look at that. <laughs> this looks like a really big tool. Mm. Yes, that's what we fix here. Oh. Cardboards, and if you need to fix them, they are secure. <laughs> yeah, it's a really big clamp. <laughs> well, that keeps things nice and secure <laughs> so you can fix them. Whoa, well, all this looks really important to fix the go-kart, but I certainly would like to see a go-kart. Whoa, check it out. It's a go-kart. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look. Yeah, it looks like this go-kart um, needs repaired. <laughs> so that's why it's in the garage. Yeah, look, there's so many different parts. Whoa, look, like the wheel. Yeah, there's a wheel and tire on the go-kart. <laughs> well, four of them. One, two, three, Four! Yeah. Correct. Four. Whoa, but why is this tire so smooth? Because we want uh, smooth tires to be all the time in contact with the uh, asphalt so they don't spin. Oh, yeah! Because you drive a go-kart on a track, a racetrack, <laughs> you want the tires to be nice and smooth. You don't need treads. <laughs> hey, that's kind of like a real race car, like an F1 car. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Same kind of tires. Whoa, that's so cool! It's kind of like you're driving a real race car. Oh, whoa. Hey, and what's this up here? Hmm, Let's have so many colors. Yeah, look, this go-kart is the color blue, light blue, black, white, and yellow. But this 
this right here is the color red. Hmm. Yes, can you guess what it is? Well, a stop sign is the color red. Mm. A traffic light is the color red. Well, it has a red light. <laughs> so if this is the color red, is this the brake? Yes, very well. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Well, if this the brake, then Jose, what's the green pedal? The green is the one to go is the gas, the accelerator. Whoa, the accelerator! <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, and check it out. There's a number. Yeah. You see this? It's a yellow sign with a blue number. It says zero two. Hmm. Well, why does the go-kart have a number? Because once we drive the go-kart, you're wearing a helmet. So to see who is driving who, we need to put the numbers on the car. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you need to wear a helmet to be safe. But if you're wearing a helmet, <laughs> you can't tell who's driving. Whoa, look at this. It's the engine. Whoa, yeah, this engine looks really powerful. So you can go really fast. <laughs> it is. It's a 270cc uh, engine. Wow, and how do you start it? Ah, it's a very good question because all the cars start with a button normally or with a key. Mm -hmm. But that's a go-kart. We have to pull here very hard and then you start it. Whoa, that's so cool. Yeah, you pull it and it starts the go-kart. Yeah, you don't need a key or you don't press the button. <laughs> Whoa, this is so cool. Oh, and check it out. Yeah, the sides of the go-kart have a really big bumper. Instead of a bumper in the front and the back, it has a bumper all the way around the sides, the front, the back, everywhere. <laughs> Whoa, and I bet you've seen this before. It's the steering wheel. <laughs> But it's not a wheel. Oh, it looks just like an F1 race car steering wheel. <laughs> oh, this is pretty exciting. <laughs> well, make sure you buckle up and wear a helmet. And there's so many cool parts of the go-kart. Oh, I feel like I want to drive one too. <laughs> Do you? I yeah. have a partner looking for a driver. Really? You mean I could ride and drive a go-kart? Absolutely, but we, you will also need a helmet. Oh, Give yeah. me one. <laughs> I need my helmet. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, check it out. Wow. <laughs> I'm already feeling like a real race car driver. Okay, let's race. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, I got my helmet on and my uniform. Jose, I think I'm ready to race. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, and what's that in your hand? That's a green flag that will signal the start of the race. Whoa, that's awesome. Yeah. I want to keep watch for the green flag, because that means it's time to go. Well, very good, and be ready because he's a very good driver. Oh, a very good driver. Is he a professional? Almost. Oh, almost a professional. Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to have to try my best in order to win this race. <laughs> OK, I think I'm ready to go. Let's go. OK, come on. Three, two, one, go. I had so much fun with you today at the Yas Kart Zone at the Yas Marina Circuit. <laughs> yeah, we learned all about go-karts, different tools you need to fix them up, <laughs> and we even got to race. Yeah, that was one fast driver. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B L I. P-P-I! Flippy! Good job! Well, I'll see you real soon! Bye-bye! <laughs> <Woo. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> hey! It's me, Flippy! And today, we're here at France Miniature in Elancourt, France! <laughs> yeah! A miniature is a teeny tiny copy of something that's really, really, really big! <laughs> yeah! 
And this place has all kinds of miniatures. Even a miniature of the entire country of France! Woo! <laughs> well, it is raining a little bit today, so good thing I have on my raincoat <laughs> and an umbrella. <laughs> but I am so excited to see so many things. We might even see a famous landmark. Come on, let's go! <laughs> These streets in France are pretty busy. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Excuse me! Honk! Honk! <laughs> well, my shoes don't have horns on them. <laughs> Whoa! You see all these little cars? Yeah, it looks like we're standing in the streets of Paris. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, there's a black car and a red car. Whoa, look! And a blue car with white racing stripes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa, so amazing being here, seeing so many cool things. Whoa, like an obelisk from Egypt? <laughs> or look, it's Notre Dame. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Whoa, no way. Do you see what it is? Whoa, look at this. It's the Arc de Triomphe. Yeah, the Arc de Triomphe is a really, really important and cool monument in Paris. Well, this right here is a really busy road. It goes all around like this. Hello! Whoa, yeah, streets here can be really, really busy. <laughs> this is in the center of it all. Yeah, at the end of the Champs Elysees. <laughs> yeah, it's so tall and you can even stand on top. <laughs> well, there are so many cool things here. <gasps> Let's keep going, come on! <laughs> Whoa, check it out! We're in Le Stade de France. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is a football stadium. Or a soccer stadium, you might say. <laughs> yeah, woohoo! <laughs> oh, and it's so big. Oh, it would be so fun to play in a stadium like this, playing some soccer or football. Woohoo! <laughs> Actually, this is the only miniature here that was built before the actual life size stadium. Whoa! <laughs> and there are a lot of people here. Hello! <laughs> oh, can you hear the crowd roar? Whoa, looks like someone scored a goal. Yeah, there are 50,000 seats here. Whew, that's a lot of seats. And in the life-size stadium, there are 80,000 seats. Whoa! Can you imagine what it was like to score a goal and win the game? Woo! Woo! <laughs> the Lippy scores! Oh, and do you notice something? It also has a kind of roof. It doesn't cover the entire stadium, but it runs all the way around. <laughs> yeah. This right here is made out of really heavy metal and it stands up because it's connected to these big posts. They're called iron needles. Woo. <laughs> yeah, they help to keep the roof from falling down. Did you know that this roof is so heavy that it's even heavier than the Eiffel Tower? Woo. <laughs> That's pretty heavy. <laughs> oh, hey, let's pretend that we're on a football team or a soccer team and see if we can score the final goal. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Ooh, I think I see an opening. Let's kick it in the goal. Woo! We did it! Check it out! It's La Tour Eiffel! Whoa, that's the French name for the Eiffel Tower! <laughs> Whoa, it's so tall! Yeah, the Eiffel Tower was built a really long time ago by a man named Gustave Eiffel. <laughs> Wait a minute, Gustave Eiffel, Eiffel Tower? <laughs> well, that makes sense why it's named that. And did you know that it's the tallest building in Paris? Yeah, the Eiffel Tower is over a thousand feet tall! Whoa! And that's really cool because normally buildings in Paris, they can't be built that tall. But the Eiffel Tower is super tall! <laughs> oh, and do you see what it looks like? Hmm, it's kind of in the shape of an A! <laughs> but the Eiffel Tower is also made up of lots of little shapes. Hmm, let's take a closer look. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> Whoa, there are three different levels to the tower. One, 
too, and all the way at the top. Yeah, there are stairs, elevators, and even a restaurant. Whoa, <laughs> yum. <laughs> oh, hey, do you notice the shapes that make up the Eiffel Tower? Hmm, I can see a couple. <laughs> Look, I see a diamond shape. Whoa, <laughs> and rectangles, and this space right here is a big trapezoid. <laughs> well, those are some pretty cool shapes. Hey, do you see what color the tower is? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's the color brown. But it wasn't always brown. It used to be the color red. <laughs> wow, this is a pretty cool tower. <laughs> oh, I think I see another building. Let's go. Whoa, check it out. Look at what it is. This is the Chateau de Versailles. Whoa, and that's French for the Castle of Versailles. <laughs> yeah, this is such a big building. Well, actually it is a big building, but this is miniature. So it's actually really teeny tiny and I'm really big. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. But because it's miniature, we need to be very careful and gentle when we're walking around. I also got permission to be here, so I'm gonna be extra careful. <laughs> Whoa, you see all these buildings? Look at them. Yeah, there's buildings here and buildings there and buildings behind me, but they're all part of the same castle. Yeah, this building was so big, it had 700 rooms. Whoa, that is a lot of rooms. <laughs> and 2,100 windows. Whoa, that's a lot of windows and 3,000 people lived here! Woo! 3,000! <laughs> yeah, that basically means this was a really, really big place. <laughs> yeah, and it's so beautiful too. Do you see? Look, there's little gold parts and blue windows that are so nice. And look at this. It looks like there was some pretty tile and gardens. <laughs> oh, do you see in the garden? there are three fountains. One, two, three fountains. Yeah, this is a miniature, but those fountains are actually really, really big with lots of water going everywhere. <laughs> hey, do you know why the castle of Versailles was so fancy and beautiful looking? Yeah, because a long time ago, France used to be ruled by kings and all the kings would live right here in Versailles. <laughs> Whoa, do you see this? Look. This is one of the gardens. Whoa, <laughs> there's all different shapes there. Oh, it was probably so fun to walk through the gardens and enjoy the sun. <laughs> but today we're enjoying the rain. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty cool place. But I wonder what other miniature things we can find. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Look at this building. <laughs> Do you see what this is? Yeah, this building is Notre Dame. Whoa! Yeah, it's a very important building. It's a cathedral in Paris. And do you see what it's on? See this water here? Hmm, it was built on an island. Yeah, this island is actually the center of Paris. Oh, yeah, the entire city was built around the islands on the Seine River. Yeah, <laughs> and it's so big. <laughs> well, this miniature is kind of big. <laughs> yeah, do you see? Look. There are different windows, different archways and shapes all over it. <laughs> Whoa, do you see these right here? Hmm, there's all these lines going up against the building. That's called a buttress. <laughs> Helps to make the walls really strong. That's because this building is old. <laughs> yeah, it's so old that they didn't have steel and metal like they build buildings today. They needed buttresses to help the bricks be super strong. <laughs> yeah. You know, building this building actually took a pretty long time. 200 years. Oh, that's a lot of building <laughs> and a lot of work and a lot of bricks. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. You look at the front, there are some pretty big towers. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. It's the front of Notre Dame. Do you see there are one, two really tall towers. Yeah, they're really tall because they were built to touch the sky. Whoa! <laughs> oh, yeah, and do you see this? There's a big circle in the center of the building. Hmm, 
that circle is a window and it's covered with stained glass. <laughs> yeah, stained glass is like a regular window, but it's really colorful. So when the sun shines through the window, you get all different colors, like red or yellow or blue. <laughs> yeah, and it's really pretty too. Oh, and do you see this? There are really tiny statues all over the building. Yeah, those are called gargoyles. Yeah, and they were really helpful to keep the building nice and pretty. Yeah, they would catch the rain and bring it out so it was far away from the building, and then it would drip down to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it's definitely one beautiful building. Oh, I think I see another one over here. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Do you see what it is? Yeah, this is a miniature of a really big dam. Yeah, the Tinia Dam. Yeah, this right here, it helps to block the water in a river to generate power. Yeah, kind of like a windmill or maybe a water wheel. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, on that side, the water's really high, so they built a big wall. Yeah, and this dam's name is called the Tinia Dam. Do you see there's a person on it? Whoa, hey, I know who that is. It's Hercules, <laughs> and Hercules is really strong, just like that really strong wall, yeah, the dam's wall, holding back all the water. <laughs> Whoa. So cool being here and seeing all these really big things, nice and tiny. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. Whoa, do you see what it is? Hmm, right now we're in the part of France where the Alps are. Yeah, the Alps are the mountains in France. <laughs> this is kind of like a village you might find there. Little houses and little roads with cars. <laughs> Whoa, and do you see what's up on that hill? Hmm, it's an animal. And the animal sounds like this. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Those are cows. Yeah, that's because in a village like this, they love to make yummy cheese from cow's milk. Yeah, and when you're walking down the road, whoo, whoo, <laughs> you might hear the sounds of bells. <laughs> whoa, and check it out. It's so hilly here that there's a river, a miniature river. <laughs> whoa. I wonder if there are any miniature fish. <laughs> They'd be so tiny. <laughs> Whoa. And in this part of France, during the winter time, there wouldn't be a lot of grass or cows. No, there'd be a lot of snow. So you could go skiing. Woo. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Whoa. Do you see what it is? It's a giant stone. Yeah, it looks like a miniature version of the Alps. Yeah, the Alps are really big mountains, and these look just like them. Whoa! <laughs> oh, this is so cool being here. <laughs> Whoa! Today was so much fun. We saw so many miniature things, even a miniature Eiffel Tower and Notre Dame. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Filippi, good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Abiento. Woo! Hey, hey, it's me, Blippi. And look at where we're at. Yeah, today we're at the Aquarium of Boise in Boise, Idaho. And this aquarium has a lot of cute animals. Yeah, do you like animals? Yeah, I love animals too. And today you and I can learn about some animals. Let's go. <laughs> oh, and look in here. Whoa, looks like we have some turtles. Oh, hello turtle. Look at it. Whoa, oh, come over here. See this one? Yeah, it's pretty big. Actually, they're gonna get way bigger. Yeah, and these are actually soft shell turtles. You know how most of the time, turtles, their shells are really, really hard? Yeah, these, their shells are soft. Interesting. Did you see how long its neck was? Whoa, whoa, check it out. A ball python. Whoa, it's so colorful. Yeah, it looks like the color 
yellow. Yeah, like the sun. Whoa, look at him just hanging out on that log. Hello. <laughs> and did you see its eyes? Yeah, they look reddish. Wow, super cool. <laughs> Snakes are awesome. <laughs> Whoa, and look down here. Whoa, this is a way bigger snake. Whoa, I know what kind of snake this is. This is a Colombian red-tailed boa. Whoa, look at him just hanging out on the soil. Yeah, he kind of looks like the soil color. Yeah, brown and dark brown and black and tan. He does blend in pretty well. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! <laughs> oh, there's someone right here. Oh, hey! Hi. Who are you? I'm Penny. Who oh. are you? <laughs> I'm Blippi. It's nice to meet you, <laughs> Nice Blippi. to meet you. Do you work here? I do work here. Really? What do you do? I'm the lead reptile handler here. Wow, that's really cool. I really like reptiles. Oh, Me too. There's one right here. Wow. This is my friend Sheila. Oh, really? Sheila? Yeah. Whoa, what kind of reptile is she? Sheila is a bearded dragon. Ooh, a bearded dragon? Yeah, I've seen one of those before. Have you ever pet a bearded dragon before? Uh, I don't know. Can I pet it? <gasps> yes, Sheila's oh. super friendly. Okay. All right. Hey, Sheila. Oh. All right. So this is my friend, Sheila. Okay. Here we go, just like this? <gasps> yep, just like that. Nice and gentle. Wow. <laughs> kind of pokey, but not really. I mean, kind of soft, though. Right? Oh. So her scales are kind of pokey, kind of soft. Uh -huh. They're made of the same stuff that makes your fingernails, called keratin. Keratin. Cool. Whoa. Look at her. Whoa. So you'll notice she has this really cute big beard. That's where she gets her name. Oh, bearded dragon. <laughs> that makes sense. And what does she eat? She's an omnivore. So that means she eats a lot of different things. She eats fruits, vegetables, and insects. Oh, wow, cool. And where do they come from? She comes from Australia. Wow, cool. <laughs> wow, what a really cool animal. Well, when was the last time she ate? Ooh, I don't know. She might be hungry. Do you want to try to offer her a snack? Oh, I would love to. Hopefully All right. she's hungry. Follow me. <laughs> All right. All right. Here you go, Sheila. Thank Whoa. you. All right. Wow, I'm so curious to see if she's hungry. Wow, okay. what do we have? So today we're going to be feeding Sheila some mealworms. Check it out. Some mealworms. <laughs> Those look yummy. If you are Sheila. <laughs> All right, let's see if she's hungry. All right, I'm oh. going to give them to you. Oh, okay. There you go. All right, so just put all three right in front of her? You can put all three, or you can put them in a line, and she will chase after them. There we go. Here you go, mealworm. There the we go. The wigglier, the better. All right, let's see if she's hungry. <laughs> are you hungry, Sheila? Whoa! So how old is Sheila? Sheila is four. Whoa. And she's really good at sitting still. Well, yeah. I mean, she hasn't moved one bit for a little bit. She's just looking around the environment. Yeah, maybe she, she'll she see the mealworm soon. Oh, well, we'll cool. see. Oh, what else is cool about Sheila? So, Sheila loves these bugs. Usually, if we can get her to run for them, that would be wonderful. Yeah. She has a big, fat sticky tongue that she likes to use to eat those bugs. Is it long or short? It's not very long. It's okay. really short and stubby. It kind of really stays big. in her mouth. Whoa, cool. Oh, well, maybe she's not hungry. Maybe not. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes that happens. You get food and you're not hungry, huh? Yeah, exactly. And then what are her claws for? Her claws she uses for digging. Oh, digging? Yeah. Whoa, what's she digging for? So she would use her claws to dig a burrow for her to live in or for her to lay her eggs. Whoa, that's really cool. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you so much for letting us try to feed Sheila. We tried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All, All right. right. I have another friend that I'd like to show you. Really? I'm going to put Sheila away first, though. So you have fun exploring, okay, Blippi? All right. I'll be back in a bit. Let's keep exploring. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. It's a giant spider. Whoa. This is my friend Raj. She's oh. a tarantula. Oh, hey, Raj. Whoa, and this is a tarantula. What kind of tarantula? She is a rose hair tarantula. Rose hair, and where's she from? So she's from South America, from Chile. Oh, cool. 
She is very big. I'm so used to smite spiders that are really small. She is a lot bigger than house spiders, but she also moves a lot slower, you notice? Yeah, she is moving slower, but she still has eight legs, right? She does, she has eight legs, two spinnerets, Ooh. and then her two helping hands up front. Oh, cool. And does she have really sticky feet? She doesn't, she actually oh. doesn't even have feet. They're called paws. Oh, paws, yeah. just like kitties and dogs. Whoa. And her paws are not sticky, okay. so spiders can walk upside down, but it's because of two special hooks that they have on each foot or paw. Oh, like that this? helps them to hold on. Mm -hmm. Whoa, look, I'm a spider. Whoa, and does she spin a web? She does, so you'll notice she's using her hooks to hold on right now while I tip her. Her spinnerets that she uses to spin webs are on the back. Those oh. two little black appendages that look kind of like fingers. Uh-huh, whoa, and what does she eat? She eats bugs. Bugs, So Lots she likes bugs. crickets and cockroaches. Whoa, wow, she is so <laughs> cool. And how old is she? Raj is eight years old. Eight. She's an adult female. Wow, that is really old. <laughs> That's not as old as they get, though. Believe it or not, they live to be over 20 years old. Wow, that is old. Yeah. Whoa. Well, that is really cool. And this <laughs> is a really cool spider. Oh, thank you so much for showing me, Raj. And thanks for being so kind to my friend. Yeah. See you later, Raj. <laughs> I'm going to keep exploring. All right, have fun. See ya. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. A crested gecko. Whoa, they're so cool. And look, yeah, it's just stuck to the side of the glass, just hanging out. Hey, wait a second, a crested gecko. Yeah, that's Mika's favorite reptile. So cool, hello. <laughs> Whoa, cool, look, a snake. Whoa. He's actually not a snake, he's a legless lizard. Really? This yeah. isn't a snake? No, he kind of looks like a snake, huh? Yeah, he does. He doesn't even have legs. No, oh, no legs. That's why they call it a legless lizard. Whoa, what's He's, his name? His name is Tom Riddle. Oh, hello, Tom Riddle. <laughs> I'm so, Flippy. He has a couple features that separate him from snakes. Oh, what are they? So the first one is that he has eyelids. He can blink like you and I. Yeah. Snakes don't have eyelids, yeah. they don't blink. Nope, they don't have eyelids. He has these little holes behind his head. Those are actually his ears. Oh. Snakes like, don't have those either. Okay, that makes sense. Yep. What about that line on the bottom? He has that line down his body because his bones are really rigid and he needs it to be able to breathe and swallow his food. Oh, so that expands? Yeah, because he's not as flexible as a snake. Okay, wow. And then is this his whole body like a snake? So Tom Riddle, being a lizard, his body actually ends right here. Oh yeah. Two thirds of his body are just tail. Whoa, that's crazy. But a snake, their body goes all the way, almost to the very end, right? Yep, that's right, it does. Wow, cool. What does Tom Riddle like to eat? Tom Riddle likes to eat insects and he'll even eat baby animals. Really? Yeah, like small mice and things like that. But mostly okay. he loves worms and snails. Oh, okay. Where could you find Tom Riddle in the wild? In the wild, you could find him in South and Central Europe. So he'd be in and around Spain and Portugal and parts of Northern Italy. Okay, wow, he's such a cool animal. May I touch him? You definitely can. Okay, whoa, he definitely kind of feels like a snake. <laughs> yeah, he does, but his scales are a little more hard and they lay over each other like armor. Not quite as flexible as a snake's scales. Wow, he's really smooth. Very smooth and glassy, huh? Yeah. So that's, that's another name for this guy is a glass lizard. Whoa! Tom Riddle is so cool. Thank you so much for letting me meet another one of your friends. Absolutely. Oh, cool. Whoa! Oh, hello. Check it out. It looks like a chameleon. He is a chameleon. This is my friend Tarzan, and he's a panther chameleon. Oh, hey, Tarzan. Whoa, panther chameleon? Whoa, and he's very bright green. Does he change colors? He is bright green right now. He does change colors. Wow. So chameleons change colors to communicate with each other. Oh, that's really cool. So they change colors to let others, say chameleons, know something? Yes, or other animals, like a big scary predator. They may turn black and red to say, I'm scary, don't mess with me. Oh, cool. Ooh, and he loves to crawl, huh? Looks like he grabs onto you with his 
weird looking hands. He does. Do you want to see what that feels like? Sure. All right, he's okay. very delicate, so be okay. careful. Okay. Oh, hey, Tarzan. Hey, how are you? Whoa, check it out. I'm holding a chameleon. Whoa. So as he's walking, you'll notice on his feet, he has five toes, just like we do. Yeah. But they're split, three and two. Okay. That's yeah. how he holds on to your fingers and to the vines in the canopy. Whoa, that's really cool. It looks like his eyes are pointing different directions? They do, yeah. So that's a special kind of vision called stereoscopic vision. And that means he has two independent visual fields. Whoa, so he can see that way and that way all at the same time? All at the same time. Whoa, cool. Look at his tail, it looks all curly. Why is that? His tail is super curly and it has another special name. It's called a prehensile tail. Whoa. He uses it like a safety line for holding on. Okay, whoa, so he can like wrap it around a tree branch and hold on? Exactly, and that comes in handy when he's trying to eat and he has to use a secret weapon in order to catch his bugs. Really? Okay, so he loves to eat bugs? He does. What's the secret weapon? His secret weapon is a long, sticky tongue. Oh, cool, do you think he's hungry? He might be, let's find out. All right, Tarzan. Libby, did you hungry. know that a chameleon's tongue is as long as its body? Really? I yeah. didn't know that. That's so really his long. His tongue is really long. Whoa. All right. Let's see if he's hungry. Let's see. Tarzan is a little older, so his eyes are not as good as they used to be. Okay. So once he sees the bug, we'll see if we can get him to take it. Yeah. Whoa! That was awesome! Isn't that exciting? Yeah. It is a long, sticky tongue. Super long and Wow, was that yummy, Tarzan? Wow, yeah, that was so cool. And speaking of cool, all of your animal friends are so cool. Thank you so much for letting me meet them. Thank you for coming to say hi today and helping me feed some of the animals. Yeah, no problem. My pleasure. Here you go. All right, I will take back. my buddy. All right, see you later, Tarzan. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was fun. Thank you so much for coming to visit us, Lippy. Yeah, no problem. See you See later. You later. <laughs> wow, this has been so much fun. I sure do love animals. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, look up there! Yeah, it looks like a green iguana. Wow, green iguanas are so cool. Yeah, they're the color green. <laughs> Ooh, and look, doesn't it look really long? Yeah. This one isn't even full-sized yet. Yeah, when they get full-sized, they are up to seven feet long. Whoa, that's over two meters long. Basically, if I was to lay down next to a full-sized green iguana, they would be longer than me. Whoa, that is so cool. Ooh, and this one's name is Azul. Huh, that's interesting. That means blue in Spanish. <laughs> they could have named him. Verde, because that means green in Spanish. Well, still, Azul is a cool name. See you later, Azul. Wow, did you have fun today? Yeah, learning about all these reptiles. Wow, I sure did have a lot of fun with you. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, though. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah. B-L-I. P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. Whoa, and check it out. <laughs> Look at all the fluffy stuffing. Yeah, this is the stuff they put inside a furry friend. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, and today I'm here at Build-A-Bear Workshop in Culver City, California. Woohoo! Yeah! And I'm going to make my very own furry friend. And I can do everything all by myself. Well, except put in the fluffy stuffing because I don't want to make a mess. Oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> Looks like I made a little bit of a mess. <laughs> Well, we better clean up before I start making my furry friend, Charlotte and Nathan. Can you help me out? Sure, Libby. Okay, but first, it's time for a fluffy dance party! Woo! You and I are buddies together. Whatever the weather, we'll be friends forever. You and I are buddies together. Whatever the weather, we'll be friends forever and ever. I'm so happy you're my buddy. We play together.
together all the time. And it's because you are my buddy that I want to laugh and smile. I want the whole wide world to see that you're the best buddy that ever could be. for helping me clean up. You're welcome, Blippi. We'll take care of this. <laughs> okay, see you later. <laughs> wow, now it's time for us to make our very own furry friend. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Look at all of our furry friends. <laughs> I can't wait to build one today. <laughs> Look, there's even <laughs> an axolotl. Hello, Blippi. <laughs> oh, I bet you love the water. Whoa! <laughs> Ooh, that's a funny one. Whoa, and look, there's even this kind of animal. Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, <laughs> it's a kitty cat. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> oh, and do you notice anything special about this kitty cat? Yeah, it has two different colors for eyes, yeah. A yellow eye and a blue eye. Aw, <laughs> I think your eyes look so pretty, little kitty cat. <laughs> Aw, whoa, and look, it's a bull. Hello, Blippi, I'm Mr. Bull. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Bull. I like your horns. <laughs> Thank you, Blippi. Here's a golden heart for being my friend. Aw, thanks, Mr. Bull. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> You're welcome, Blippi. Bye-bye. Bye, Mr. Bull. <laughs> hmm. Do you see what I see? <gasps> it's a dinosaur! Yeah! Check it out! <laughs> yeah! It looks like a red and yellow raptor. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that would be one fun furry friend to make. <laughs> oh, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> It's a fuzzy bear. Wait a minute. I bet Nathan and Charlotte would love a bear. Yeah, it's so cute and soft. I know. Let's build a bear today. Yeah, we can build two bears for our friends. Okay, here we go. <laughs> One bear and two bears. But hmm, I don't think they're done yet. <laughs> Let's add some special things to make them all done. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Look at all of these. These are scents that you can put in your bear to make them have different smells. <laughs> Whoa, and there are certainly a lot of smells here. Hmm, which smell should we use? Oh, I know, let's play a game. I'll give you a clue and you can guess the smell. Okay, smell number one. <sighs> it's red and small <laughs> and really tasty, especially on ice cream. Yeah, that's right, it's strawberry. Whoa, <laughs> we could add strawberry. Oh, here's another smell. It's colorful and you could probably get it at the fair. Oh, and it's really wispy and sweet. <laughs> yeah, that's right, it's cotton candy, yum. <laughs> okay, this is the third scent. Let's see if you can guess it. Hmm. So this smell mm, is from something that you chew and 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 chew. Yeah, that's right. It's bubble gum. That's silly. Whoa, whoa. And the last smell, let's see if you can guess it. This is something that you eat once a year for a very special party. <laughs> oh, and you put candles in it. Yeah, that's right. It's a birthday cake. Whoa, look, birthday cake. Whoa, <laughs> well, those are all really good smells. I wonder which scent we should add to the bears. 
Oh, it's Nathan and Charlotte. Don't tell them we're making these bears. I want the gift to be a surprise. <laughs> okay. Shh. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Nathan. I'm just over here picking some scents. Ooh, uh, which scent is your favorite? Strawberry. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it smells so delicious and sweet. Oh, thanks for helping me make a decision. You're welcome, Blippi. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hmm. Oh, and look, there are also some sounds here, so we can pick which one goes into our furry friend. <laughs> oh, hey, what if we play a game? Sure. Uh, I'll act out the sound, and then you can guess which one it is. <laughs> that sounds fun. Oh, good. It could be holiday bells, or it could be an animal sound, or it could even be a heartbeat. <laughs> okay, here, let's see which this first one is going to be. Ooh, okay. The first one looks like this. Are you a rabbit? Or a kangaroo? <laughs> Close. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> oh, you're a frog. Yeah, I'm a frog. <laughs> Ooh, can you ribbit like a frog with us? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. That's silly. Oh, okay, here, how about this one? Mm. This one looks like this. Are you a bear? <laughs> You're a dinosaur! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's silly. <laughs> oh, hey, I didn't notice this sound over here. Do you know what animal makes that sound? <laughs> oh, Nathan, do you know what animal makes that sound? Yeah, it's a cow. That's a funny sound. Oh, <laughs> oh that's pretty silly. Oh, hey, do you think I should put the cow sound or a heartbeat in the bear? I like the cow, but I think it would be really cute if your bear had its own heartbeat, Blippi. Aw, that would be cute. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, I'll put the heartbeat in and add my scent. <laughs> okay, see you soon. I need to put some fluffy stuffing in the bear. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, Blippi. Bye. Hello there. <laughs> I'm, I'm Blippi, what's your name? Hello, my name's Nikki. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Nikki. Nice to meet you. Well, I've been building some bears, but I think they're missing their fluffy stuffing. Uh, could you help me? Yeah, of course. Can I see your bears? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I tried <laughs> earlier, but I made a bit of a mess with all the it's stuffing. It's okay, it happens all the time. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sit over here. Can you be my friend and help me out and step on the pedal for Ooh, me? Okay, are, uh, are you sure about me helping? It'll totally be fine. Don't worry, just follow my lead. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll help you out. <laughs> okay, how do you want your bears, Blippi? Do you want them soft or do you want them big and strong? Hmm, I think, uh, let's make them soft. <laughs> let's make them soft? Okay, go okay. ahead and step on that pedal for me. Okay, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Look at it go! Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! 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 <laughs> Look! Whoa! Okay, go ahead and step off that pedal. Woo! <laughs> okay. Whoa, thanks, Nikki. You're gonna have to do a field test for me, okay? Okay. Can you go ahead and give your friend a big hug? Let okay. me know, is that soft enough? Okay, let's see. Oh, perfect. Perfect softness. Perfect. Okay, one okay. bear. We have one bear down. Now we have to do your other furry friend. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's make this one nice and soft, too. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and step on that pedal for me, my friend. Okay, here we go. Woo! Yeah! Okay, go ahead and step off that pedal. Whoa! <laughs> okay, and can we go, ooh, ooh. can we go ahead and give my friend another hug? Let me know, is that one soft? Okay, let's see. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, nice and soft. Oh, Nathan and Charlotte are gonna love these bears. Oh, Perfect. thank you. So we have our bears, but then, uh, I feel like they're missing something. Yeah, we have, oh, I almost forgot, the strawberry smell. Ooh. <laughs> Can we put these in? Yeah, of course. Okay, here we go. Let's open them up and see how they smell. Whoa! Whoa, they're so strawberry. <laughs> Yum. Okay. okay, and now we just rub them on their faces We're a little. Rub it on their nose and on their tummies, Aww. on their toes. Strawberry toes! <laughs> Can't forget the ears. And then we're gonna rub it on our back. And poop, and they're gone, just like magic. Uh-oh, uh <laughs> I rubbed it on my nose. No, I smell like strawberries. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. oh, we better not forget the bear too. 
Here we go. Nose and tummy and ears Woo. and toes. Woo! <laughs> hmm. Strawberry bear and strawberry flippy. <laughs> okay, and do we just put it right in the back? Yep. Boop, it's gone like magic. <laughs> Whoa, magic! And I see we have some sound chips here. Yeah, so we have two heartbeats for our little bears. Okay, can you go ahead and put them? Yeah, put them right in there like that. Okay, one heartbeat and two heartbeats. Okay, Aww. perfect. Now we're almost done, but we do need to do something called a heart ceremony. A heart ceremony? Wait, yeah. do we need these hearts? Yeah, can we go ahead and pick out a heart? Yeah, how about these two? You need to pick out two. Okay, two red okay. hearts. Cool. I'm gonna grab a heart too. Okay. And I'm gonna set your furry friends down right here. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to do the heart ceremony. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna go ahead and follow my lead, okay? okay? We're gonna rub our hands together. Okay, you can follow along at home too. Are you ready? Here we go. We're warming these hearts up. We're gonna go tap, tap, tap to get this heart <laughs> This is fun. We're gonna rub our heart on our toes. So okay. our hands are totally awesome. Whoa, toes, two toes. <laughs> rub it on our heads so your friends are smart just like you. Rub it on our side, so it's always by our friend's side. And then we're gonna take our heart, hold it by our heart, close our eyes and make a super duper big whiff. <sighs> okay, good. Cool, and now we're gonna go ahead and give it a kiss. Okay, give it a kiss. Aww. <laughs> and Perfect. now we're gonna go ahead and put our hearts in our bears. Whoa. Okay, and we'll put it in just like the smell and the sound? Yep. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Perfect. Whoa, check it out! Your Here. friend's almost ready to go home with you now. I just need to sew it up. Ah, thanks, Nikki. <laughs> and thanks for helping us learn how to do the heart ceremony. Woohoo! Whoa, check it out! We did it! We finished the bears. Well, we almost finished the bears. Yeah, now we get to pick out their cool outfits. <laughs> yeah, it's time to have fun with style. And to get in the mood to be the best blippy stylist ever, let's do our style walk. <laughs> okay, let's pick out some outfits. Ooh, we can pick out this rainbow sparkly dress. <laughs> Looking good up there. Ooh, maybe even a pair of glasses. <laughs> There's so many things to choose. <laughs> Ooh, two red bow ties. Maybe those will look great. <laughs> okay, grab some of that. <laughs> it's so colorful. <sighs> okay, here we go. Grab all the things we need to make these bears look great. Okay, just a few more things. <laughs> here we go. <sighs> okay, I think we found some great options to dress our bears. <laughs> <sighs> well, I think I have too many things and there's even more on this wall. <laughs> we better get to work. Woo! They look so good. <laughs> I'm thinking I might have a career as a stylist. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Woo! Whoa, check out where we are! Yeah, this is where we get to name our bears! <laughs> yeah, and we get to get their birth certificate. Whoa! Yeah, a name is what someone calls you. My name is Flippy, because that's what people call me. <laughs> what do people call you? Aw, that's a great name. I think it really suits you. Oh, hi Charlotte, hi Nathan. <laughs> oh, you came just in time because I have a surprise for you two. <laughs> Three, two, one, surprise! Whoa, <laughs> our own bears. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, well thank you for all of your help. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, Blippi, but actually, yeah, actually, we have a surprise for you as well. Oh, you do? Yep. Yeah. Three, two, two one. one, surprise! Whoa, check it out! 
This bear has my hat and glasses and bow tie and everything. Oh, I love it. Oh, thank you, too. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> thank you, Blippi. These are awesome. Yeah, thank you, Blippi. I love my bear. Ah, me too. Oh, by now we should name our bears. Oh, what do you think your bear's names are? I think I'm going to name mine Sunny. <laughs> oh, I like that name. And mine, Sparkle, because it's sparkly. Oh, that's a great name. Hmm. Hmm, what should I name you? I have the perfect name, Fishy McFisherson. <laughs> yeah, it's very unique and totally not confusing at all. <laughs> Hello, Fishy McFisherson. That does not sound like a fish or a bear either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's why I like you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, very nice to meet you too, Mr. Fishy McFisherson. <laughs> Well, we have to go now. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, but before you go, why don't we take a picture together? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Cheese! What are your two favorite colors? Mm. Oh, what was that? Wait, your favorite colors are my favorite colors? Blue and orange? Mm. No way! <laughs> We're the same! Yeah, that's awesome. Wait, do you also like excavators and dinosaurs? Mm. That's cool. <laughs> oh, hi, Nikki. Hi, Blippi. Here's your birth certificate for your furry friend. Whoa, look. It says, Fishy McFisherson. 16 inches, 7 ounces, brown and cream. <laughs> Just for you. Aw, thanks, Nikki, for all your help today. You're welcome, Blippi. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Wow, today was so much fun. We got to build fishy and have lots of fun with our friends. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go, ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi, good job. <laughs> well, we'll see you soon. Oh, what was that? Oh, I think we have time for one more picture. Come on everyone, let's make room